This house is two stories, and on the first floor, you walk into the living room, and to the left is a bedroom, a bathroom, and the stairs to the second floor. And the back of the house is the kitchen and dining room, and then upstairs is two bedrooms and a bathroom. So I think it has potential. Again, we bought it for 4000 It's 1,600 square feet with three bedrooms, two bathrooms, and the house is in really terrible shape. So even though it's a cheap buy, it's going to cost a lot to fix. The biggest challenge of the project is going to be staying in budget. If we spend too much on the house in this neighborhood, we're never going to make a profit. It doesn't look nearly as bad from the front as it does from the back, but it's unattractive. It's very flat. I think if we put some planter boxes and gave it some dimension and maybe left the roof open. Yeah. I love the brick sidewalk. We can kill oh, yeah, all the, the weeds. Yeah, the brick sidewalks are cute. Super charming. This is so low. And can you already smell the urine? Ugh. The front of the house gives you no indication of how bad the inside of the house gets. Except from the smell. Yes. You can smell the smell from the sidewalk. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, oh, my. What happened in here? The furthest I've ever gone is this room because of the sinkhole. Oh, look! It's got a solarium. It gives a lot of light in here. Because there's been a hole in the roof for so long, everything's just, like, literally melting into the ground. Two stories in this front section, one story in this back section. Yeah. And they you didn't. can tell that's a shed addition because yeah. that's an exterior window. As soon as you go through what I'm going to call the living room, the rest of the house looks like a zombie apocalypse movie set. It's like the earth is just swallowing the house while the house is melting from the top. It's pretty epic. Yeah, I mean, it's cool looking. It's very cool. Unless your job is to fix it. These spaces could be a good, like, living room, dining room, kitchen, master on the back kind of thing if the back wasn't melting off. This absolutely has to come off. 100%. And then these two rooms, I think these are all OK to walk in. Why did you buy this? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I feel like you should start consulting with me. We've got a good-sized room on the front. We can just throw this all away. Not even going to look. I'm glad I wore my rain boots. Doors might be worth saving. Add them to your collection, girl. <laughs> well, I'm not going to add them to my collection unless I can put them back in this house. Okay, we'll figure that out. Okay. I'm gonna go in this bathroom. Okay. This is the furthest I've ever made it in here. I've gotten creeped out and left. Really? I've only made it into the living room. We got some hot sauce. <laughs> Even though it was cheap, the house needs a ton of work. The back of the house needs to be torn off completely, and then we can do a new two-story addition. We can add a brand new master suite on the first floor, and upstairs we could do two bedrooms, a Jack and Jill bathroom, and a little loft space. We definitely have a lot to do, and we have a limited budget, so we might have to pick and choose what gets done. So it's only $4,000, and I think we could do the rebuild for like two hundred. dollars Okay. So all in at $204,000, we cannot spend more than $200,000, because on this block, the absolute highest we could list it for is $220,000, which makes our profit margins already really low. We're not going to make a lot of money on this. I mean, this is no. the first house in this area. but. There's a couple good houses on the block. There's yeah. a lot of crappy ones. So if we can get a hold of a couple more, I think we can really make an impact yeah. and make some money on the later ones. OK. It's crunch time! When are we going to get one of those? Mom will just spend all of her time playing with that. Mom took her box of ghosts and went back to the office, but Ted and I are sticking around to watch the big guns go to work. It's beautiful. It's like a ballet of destruction and demolition. God, all that wood is so rotted. It's like reaching right into the guts of the house and just like, ugh. I feel like I'm almost embodying the excavator, and I'm just ripping all of these things off myself like the Hulk. Tad smash! <laughs> Not maybe quite like that, but yes, maybe a little Tad smash. Oh, yeah. You hear that? You hear the symphony of breaking glass? Slam! All right, there's All right, some it's thunder. Little, yeah, I feel like we might need to take a break till it chills out. All right, yep, let's go, let's go. Ugh. The rain may not be great for us, but for Demo, it'll keep the dust down while they finish it up. The 
next step now is to figure out the perfect floor plan. Okie dokie. I love the unroll. Yes. So this is going to end up being a new construction, but we're just going to kind of plop it, it the same... back where it was. OK. We're going to put it back in the same spot and make it look very similar to respect the aesthetic that was there. So we've got the two doors because they were there before. It's kind of charming. Why color. is it not centered? From the outside, isn't that going to look a little peculiar? If you centered it, then neither side is big enough to like, right. put your mailbox or a right. planter or something oh, like yeah, that. Oh, yeah, so mailbox and planter. Boom. Now we're Boom. Visually. Balance without symmetry. Mm -hmm. Yay. So now when you go in, you've got the kitchen, the dining, and the living room are all kind of go in this L. And then the dining room opens up to a nice little side deck. And on the first floor, we also have our laundry room, our half bath, and our master ensuite. Decent sized walk-in closet. Hi. Okay. Shower, nice big double vanity. Good. Upstairs, we've got the potential for three bedrooms, a bath, and a loft. OK. This is where we get a little funky. And I'm going to need you to think through your imagination with me. OK. So when you come up the staircase, this thing right here. OK, so I'm in the bedroom, and I'm looking at this giant opening. What I'm kind of wanting it to be is you can close off that opening somehow if you're using this as a bedroom. But it can also be open if you don't need four bedrooms. So when you walk up into the loft, it feels like you've got the loft space in front of you and, and all that loft. airiness. OK. So this is the general okay. idea okay. we can work through in my okay. head. We're going to use doors somehow to create a purposeful bedroom or office based on your decision space. We'll figure out the details later. All right. Well, that's our guy. We can list it as a four bedroom, which will hopefully get us a little bit better price in the area. And maybe be attractive to more buyers. And hopefully by the time construction's done, the neighborhood is just taken off. I'm nervous about this house. It's definitely going to be our loss leader. It's the first one in the neighborhood. But it's a cute little neighborhood. It is. And things are, things are changing. So we'll see once construction's done where we kind of land comp-wise. It's exciting to finally see the lot graded and leveled, and now we can get started on digging the new foundation. We're painting the house a pale green with teal accents, and it's going to have a really nice, clean look that hopefully conveys the fresh start we're trying to give this neighborhood. It snugs right up in there. Nice. On the inside, Corey and I got the sliding by full doors installed, and it adds a ton of natural light to that small bedroom. And in the kitchen, we put in three levels of dark brown cabinets, which really grounds the whole space. This is pretty. Good morning. Ooh. You're just in time. I'm very proud to announce I did not do a white kitchen on this house because I don't want it to feel like a generic new build in any way, shape, or form. So I picked a dark cabinet color, and then we're going to bring color in on the walls in the kitchen island. And since we're on a budget, custom paint the island's a good idea, and I can install the butcher block countertop, save you some money there, too. Two birds, one stone. Boom. The original inspiration was a bluish island. So morning breeze, I think this actually is very similar to that color. Mm -hmm. But I like how this one looks with the wood better than this. I think that that's not as bold as this. The color I like is a little bit, I'm going to go with mature. The light blue one feels a little more like playful and youthful. It does, I agree. You've got some wild, wild eyebrows. Like there's form? one like, it's like this long sticking straight up. Well, my stylist is sick, so that would make sense. Look at that. That's almost that like was facial like hair. An inch this long. Way? You're fine on that side. All right. Now my oh, eyebrows gosh. are all wonky. Now I'm responsible for mom and Corey's facial hair. This is our flooring, right? Yeah. Ooh, no, definitely this. It's whatever your little heart desires. Duh. It's kind of got that color in it. The flooring actually has some of that, like, richer blue in it. It does. And it looked really good together, so. You just so happen to pick the one piece that has the most amount of blue in it. You're like, yeah. look, I'm right. So we went with what I wanted. <laughs> Obvi. Also, what do you want to do with the top here? I think we try to get in this, this area a little bit. OK. It's got a little bit of gray in there, light yeah. browns. We'll get it prepped and ready for paint. Yeah, and get the additive for the paint that makes it nice and smooth for the Nice and smooth. Yeah. Shellac. Smell like shellac, but it takes out the brush strokes, ding dong. There's just stuff everywhere All right. around here. You this do you. Me up the wall. I I'm gotta get to cleaning. Me. We'll see ya. We've got trim paint happening today inside, and on the outside, I'm laying an antique brick walkway to bring in some old world charming character. So even though the whole house is brand new, the walkway will help it feel like it's an established house that's been here for quite some time. Unique. 
I just love all this color that's in here. It makes me happy. I just love the openness. The living room over here is where the front bedroom used to be, and we kind of removed the wall, well, we removed the whole house, but <laughs> opened up the spaces. So now you have this really nice open living room with tons of natural light, all the windows, and really high ceilings. So the kitchen was in the back, falling into the earth. So we pulled it up and put it in this area now with our double stacked cabinets and the backsplash all the way up to the ceiling. We have a really good blend of the Carrera Marble surround, the white farm sink. Awesome. I love the uh -huh. blue island. Now, the butcher block doesn't come the same color as the cabinets already, right? No. So... That's mom's staining magic. It took a little bit of work to get the stain to match the cabinets, <laughs> but did we do OK? Work out pretty good. I love it. There's a little tiny house over there. When I found out that we were going to have to demolish the house, I talked to the house and explained what was going to happen. And I said, this is a safe place for you to stay. And then when it was all done, I brought it back in and went through the whole house with it and explained what we had done, because I'm a crazy person. <laughs> and um, I feel like the soul of the house is happy here. That's so cute. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> and then over here, you've got your dining room. We've got six around the table, but I think you could easily fit eight or 10. Yeah, and then wow. you also have the French doors right off of it to the deck. So in the summer and the warmer months, you can open the French doors and just have everything all open, one big, nice family space. Yes. Awesome. Barbecues. OK, we're going to go check out your master bedroom. Oh. And through your pocket door. Yes, I love it. Master bedroom on the first floor. Wow, awesome. So plenty of room, king size bed, room on either side for dressers or end tables. I love the um, colors on the walls and stuff. Seems like so far we haven't seen any white on the walls. It's pale enough that it feels like a neutral without being boring. Right.